Hello viewers, it is I, transitioned from a mountain biker to a uh, failed canoe artist. I want to stay as a biker. Yeah, bikes are better, uh, I think that's what we've identified so far, They're safer, they don't deflate as that. Um, and we've already successfully destroyed the boat. Caroline, do you want to show the damage? <laughs> Yeah, the middle compartment, that's meant to be three lumps and it's just one massive yeah, lump. And because it's one lump, it's separating the uh, it's separating the air and it's making a big lump of air in the middle and it's teetering the boat left and right. And it's, it's just not ideal, that's all. Not ideal. Okay, we've made some good progress since you last saw us viewers. The pier is now that far away. And there is a micro light above us. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Now we're letting the wind just float us where it wants to for a while. Because uh, we've just put in a big shift to try and get yeah. this far. And the wind calmed down for a bit, but I think it's coming back. Yeah, it's turning. We're quite close to the pier I'm now. I don't want to sink. <laughs> Look, you can see the coffee stand. Wait. Do they need takeaways on the water? It would all spill with a latte chocolate. <laughs> to go. Yeah. Hello, viewers. We are getting ever closer to the bit. As our mission for today, we've been oh. going upwind the whole way so far. So unstable. It's been such a hard journey, hasn't it? It really has. I'm just taking a break, which I'm filming now because my core is on fire. My arms, particularly my left one, is so perfect. How much have we deflated it? Oh, like most of it. Like when we're not in the boat and the boat's not on the water, there's literally no air. You can put your foot right through to the bottom. Yeah. However, when we're in it and when it's on the water, it's actually okay. It's because of the issue with the compartment. It's not as impressive as Brighton's here, is it? No, but it's still a pair. It's remarkable, isn't it? That man trusts the wood to hold up that much. Yeah, I know. In the environment. I know. Well, I guess we're the people that trust it. Can you go on a bit? Yeah. <laughs> oh, very nice. Okay, we're just beginning our way back. Get your fingers in the water, Caroline. Is it cold? Yeah. Nice and chilly. Do it again. Stick your hand in. <laughs> Very good. See you in a bit, Stuart. You wanna wave goodbye? <laughs> Oh, I feel like it does so. In all the wrong ways. My feet have like seized up in the wrong position from being like. Oh, they're so sore. Okay, we are now aboard the land. Yeah. We have rescued our paddles and stuff. We've left the boat there for some. Uh, stranger to claim because uh, we don't want it anymore um, <laughs> no only joking we're gonna go return it to Lidl at some point because it's really not that good we're just gonna let it dry out though indeed um, but yes above all else the most terrifying thing is we actually just got out of it and uh, we found that there was a, a good sized puddle um, which <laughs> soaked me as you can probably see and caught a bit of Caroline, not much, you were lucky. I think so. I was at the back of the boat. Yeah. <laughs> That's where it was coming in from. Yeah, I think so. Oh well, time for a barbecue. Oh. 